Good morning, spiritual people and friends and whoever else. Pretty much everyone. All of you. You're all you're all welcome. Thanks for coming. It's early. Did you get some coffee? Check this out. You got to go check out this whole video. You know, I don't want to tell you what to do this early in the morning on a Saturday. Fuck me, right? You did. You busted your ass all week. No one should be telling you what to do. Well, hey, if you're bored, you just want to throw something on in the background so it feels like you're doing something. Someone comes over, oh, I'm watching this video. So they leave you alone. Here you go. This is talking about the ego and and all it is. And uh, something incredibly simple just kind of shifted as I've been thinking about what your attention is and your awareness. Here we go. The great Alan Watts. And if I am my foot, I am the sun. <laughs> After that. Only we've got this little partial view. We've got the idea that, no, I'm just something in this body. The ego. That's a joke. The ego is nothing other than the focus of conscious attention. It's like a radar on a ship. The radar on a ship is a troubleshooter. Is there anything in the way? And conscious attention is a designed function of the brain to scan the environment, like a radar does. And note for any troublemaking changes. But if you identify yourself with your troubleshooter, then naturally you define yourself as being in a perpetual state of anxiety. There it is. There it is. Not only have I thought that, I have said that out loud. I'm a troubleshooting son of a bitch. And you know what, Mom? We're not talking right now, so I'm not even going to say no offense. Just kidding. But um, this perpetual state of anxiety, anyone else anxious all the time? Guess what? Turns out they taught us that in school. They taught us to, discri to discriminate. They taught us to discern. They taught us to compare and contrast. And our brains are just full of that shit. So we're looking at everything and saying, is this going to kill me? <laughs> is it going to eat me? Is this good? Is this bad? Walking around being just a nervous Nelly. And the moment we cease to identify with the ego and become aware that we are the whole organism, you realize the, as the first thing how harmonious it all is. Because your organism is a miracle of harmony. All this thing functioning together. Even those corpuscles and uh, creatures that are fighting each other in the bloodstream and eating each other up. If they weren't doing that, you wouldn't be healthy. So what is discord at one level of your being is harmony at a higher level. And you begin to realize that and you begin to be aware too that the discords of your life and the discords of people's life, which are a fight at one level, at a higher level of the universe, are healthy and harmonious. And you suddenly realize that everything that you are and do is at that level as magnificent and as free of any blemish as the patterns in waves. Alan Watts. Hey, thanks for listening. You're doing great. You're doing great. If there's one thing, this is this is the this is Gary shit, what's your name? Something. He wrote the book Unfuck Yourself. Pretty sure is that I'm messing this all up. But he said one thing you're pretty good at. You. I'm looking at you across the table now. Across the phone. You're pretty good at living. You're pretty good at getting out of this shit alive, right? At least so far. I know you've got friends and family that have fallen. Rest in peace, peeps. But, uh, yeah. Keep it up. Have a great Saturday. Love you, people. And, uh, hey. Subscribe to this shit. Like you like below. It doesn't matter. I'm going to do it anyway. But it'd be cool to know there's other people out there. Later.